Kia ora, I'm Paul Rawiri. I'm a chairperson or co-chairperson now of Ngā Hauwewha o Paparangi Marae. Ngā Hauwewha o Paparangi means the people of the four winds. Paparangi is the name of the area where this resides in. Really for Māori, it is a place to come to uh, where people from all over New Zealand who haven't got their own marae can come here and implement, do, teach and nurture things that are associated with Māori kaupapa. What we want it to be here is self-sustaining. Um, it's almost an holistic sanctuary for people to come to that involves everybody. It's not mine, it's not yours, it's everybody. It's naho we're far. The two main things for the community here are the land and their involvement with us, um, both in civil defence or emergency resilience and with the restoration of the land. After the Christchurch earthquakes, we sat down with a number of other marae, who were sponsored by the Hutt Council, and we ended up with 10 marae dedicated to improving their standards. Not only have we tested our procedures twice, we've expanded to include the doctors, the pharmacy, the local community centre, the radio clubs, the ham radio operators. It is preparing the community to take responsibility for itself. So that in an emergency, we can look after our neighbours, we know what's available, we can get on and doing it and not be a burden on the resources that will be required in a major emergency elsewhere. So we've written a whole lot of drills and that, but in an emergency, you're not going to have time to read the book, you're just going to get on and do it, so that's why we train our people. And as people come through and move, we've got more and more people trained in how to operate this facility in an emergency. It started off the 20-year planning program so that we had some something in the long vision to keep members here and, and to show the council that we were serious about what we're doing. First five years was to be Raranga, the second five years we said would be Rongoa, the third five years will be Marakai, and the last five years will be the eradication of pests. So it was over a 20 year period. However, it went off so well, thanks to Na Whenawarahu, who supported us hugely and actually set us up to succeed. Um, Rongoa and Marakai said they didn't want to wait to the five or ten year period respectively and they started on the second year, on the third year, so it went from one to three overnight which tripled the work of the nurseries. Everything's been massive. Um, but also the good thing about it is with the community, the community are behind all of these as well. So we have te reo classes which teaches us about the names of the plants and the different methods and that we have the elderly people and the rest homes at um, Kashmir and Aotea Hospital, and they do the planting of all the seedlings for us. We use the six local schools at the nursery, as well as um, the resilience workers and periodic detention workers down there, and then we use the corporates and the organisations like the scouts and guides and, and that sort of thing here to plant these plants that we've had from nothing back into repopulate and replenish the nursery. If you heal the land, you heal yourself and everybody feels good. Uh, kia ora, my name's Joe McLeod. I'm the Kaiarahi Kai Whakahaere Kai Whakarite for the Māra Kai uh, strand of Mahaue Whaupu Pararangi. We have four strands up here, uh, Raranga, Māra Kai, Rongoa and Māra Tipu. The one I run is the Māra Kai. This is the, uh, the cooking part of our three strand, our four strand process here. And I teach traditional Māori cuisine cooking, contemporary Māori cuisine, and uh, in another hat, we do mainstream cooking as well. What I've kept today is uh, umu maru maru simple. We have pork, corn fed chicken, and a whole um, uh, kahawai fish in there, kumana potatoes, vegetables, and that's here. So what we're doing here is everything self-sustainable. So everything that we require, we're planting here. Normally we have the um, Raranga group. They come here on a Monday night and they do their weaving and so on. So what we needed to do here, we said, right, let's have a five-year rungo or Māori flax program. And we'll do all of that so that we had all the materials naturally that we needed to produce things like 
um, kakahu or capes or pew pews or kiti or, or mats, whatever it may be. And of course we had to plant the plants that also gave us the dyes as well so that we could teach people how to plant, how to nurture, how to harvest and how to produce the products. We've gone from a rickety old building to having this fuddy completely refurbished. We've gone from having no civil defence emergency resilience program to have container loads full of material out there, gone from having no money to money in the bank, gone from having toxic land where we're restoring now and we have programs operating with the community and the involvement of everybody around us, it's just stunning. The whole thing is community involvement in it, so by the people, for the people, owned by the people, Naho we're far, so it's all theirs and it's sort of 10 minutes from the capital from Parliament, so to have a marae in an urban environment that can replicate what we were taught as children in our country or in the country areas is just stunning.